Good morning guys and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Today I have a treat for you. It is a brutal cardio and kickboxing endurance challenge. Now this idea came to us from our subscriber and friend Pinky. She was wanting a nice, long, brutal kickboxing workout and I decided to take that up a notch with some body weight moves and some ab moves mixed in there. So you won't need any equipment for this workout, but you can add your weighted vest for some extra resistance. You can go faster for some extra intensity. Um, and you can use some hand weights. So if you want to use those things, go ahead and grab them. If not, I think you will find that this workout is a very ample challenge. So anyway, it's nice and long. If you only have time to do parts of it, it's broken up into some nice sections that repeat themselves. So do what you can, feel good about what you do. You do not have to do this entire thing, but if you are ready to take this hour plus challenge with me, get your stuff and I'll see you back here for the warm up. All right guys, let's get started with the warm up here. We are starting with jumping jacks. And stick here for a few seconds. Big arms and big legs get a nice, nice range of motion here as we're warming up. Get the heart rate accelerated. Get your lungs nice and open. Stick with me here for a few more seconds. Getting ready to move on here. Shake it out, little boxer shuffle, swing those arms, circle them forward. Just really open up that shoulder socket. Need to have good mobility to do all the kicks and punches we're gonna be doing in this crazy workout. And reverse. Nice light feet. Work on getting and staying on the balls of your feet. We're going to be doing lots of punching and kicking in this crazy workout. All right, now we're going to open up our hips. We're going to be doing a lot of kicking here. Really need to have our hips nice and open nice and warmed up so that we'll be ready to have the range of motion we need and prevent injury. Also going to really work on contracting our abs here. And we're going to switch sides. Awesome job. fun with it. Get nice and warmed up so that you are ready for the brutal workout that awaits you. All right. Now we're going to go into some squats with glute raises. Still warming up those legs, opening up those hips. Really squeeze the glutes as you lift that leg. Don't have to go down super low at first, but work up to a good range of motion for this move. Squat and lift. Don't forget to smile. This might be the last time you get a chance before this workout really gets started. <laughs> Just kidding. This is gonna be really fun. I don't think you'll get bored, but you will be breathless. All right, now we're just gonna warm up those arms even further with some hooks. Just alternate. Soft knee, really tighten your abs. Get ready to work. Imagine you are decking somebody right in the jaw. Now we're going into some jabs. 
Again, contract those abs, get a nice twist, and your warm up is done. All right, guys, we are heading into your first kickboxing set. We're going to do a jab, cross, hook times two, knee up on the left, touch down, and front kick. Two rounds here, 50 10. And off we go. Ready to get started. Left arm in front, jab cross, hook, hook, knee up, touch down, front kick. Jab cross, hook, hook, knee up, touch down, front kick. Little boxer shuffle to help yourself get reset for this combo move here. Don't worry if your arms and legs get confused. Just keep going. Jab cross, hook, hook, knee up, touch down. Kick. Jab cross hook hook. Knee up. Touchdown. Kick. Awesome job, guys. Cross hook hook. Knee up. Touchdown. Keep that core really tight there. Reset. Think about what your arms and legs are doing. Even say the words so that you can really practice getting your mind and your muscle to communicate. And we are on to our next move. It's going to be a side lunge and three kicks on the left. Just kidding. We're doing that combo on the right. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Knee up, touch, down, front kick. This time on the right. Awesome. Same thing, different side. Tighten that core. Go as quickly as you can, but still try to get really good form here. Awesome. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Knee up. Touch down. Nice kick here. Keep it going. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Knee up. Touch down. Kick. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Really use those legs when you punch to get more power in the movements. Great job. All right, now we are going to start with a millionaire hoy move, and it's going to be jab cross, jab cross, ab twist times four, alternate knee pulls times four. So, little shout out to millionaire hoy here with this next move. Really tighten that core as you draw the knee in. Jab cross, jab cross, ab twist. Knee pulls. This move has a really nice flow. Keep that core tight the whole time. Go as quickly as you can while still maintaining proper form. Keeping that core locked in. Might get a little confused like I am here, <laughs> but just keep going. You guys are doing awesome. Awesome. Great job. Breathe it out, get a quick drink, and get ready for your next move. We're going into two hooks, two uppercuts, and a scissor switch or a tuck. Let's switch to the other side. Doesn't matter which arm you start with because we're going to be using both. And alternating sides. Notice how I'm pivoting here off my foot. So that I can get more strength in my punches. We really want to get a lot of power from that lower body when we punch. Get a nice big jump to switch. Awesome. You guys are doing great. Lock those abs in. Keep twisting. Laugh at yourself if you've almost punched yourself in the face and you are finished. Awesome. We are back to the top of this round now with that jab cross, hook times two, knee up to the left, and touch down. This time you may find it's a little easier for you to get this done 
you're making those neuromuscular connections, things are going a little more smoothly, your brain is talking to your muscles and doing what you ask. Awesome job, we'll reach back, tighten your core for that knee up and the kick, protect your face. Wouldn't want any of your gorgeous faces to be harmed when you're doing all these crazy moves. So protect your face as if you had a real opponent in front of you. Awesome job. All right, we're hitting the other side. Five cross hooks up, knee up, touch down. And kick. Five cross hooks up. Reset with that boxer shuffle. So you can remember what you're doing and do proper form. All right. It's probably good that the sound got messed up on this video because it was really early. And I'm not sure I said a thing during this whole video that made sense. Plus, I sounded a little gravelly. <laughs> awesome. Keep going, guys. Think about every movement you make here. Make them deliberate. Smile, because it's fun to be able to do hard things. <laughs> awesome job. All right, we are hitting those jab cross two hooks. Nope, we're doing the ab move. Foiled again. Millionaire Hoy ab move. Knee pulls. Ab twists and jabs and cross hooks. Everything we're doing four times, it has a really nice rhythm here. Just lock in those abs. Smile. Awesome job. Getting close. Burning in the legs and the abs. Awesome job. Breathe it out. Get a nice drink. Get ready for that next move. All right. It's going to be your hook times two. Uppercut times two. Jump to switch. This time I'm doing a tuck jump. Just to increase the intensity a little bit, you do your scissor jump to switch or add a tuck on with me. Do what is challenging for you. High intensity training should be what challenges you. Don't compare your high intensity to someone else's because we are all on this fitness journey together. We are at different spots and we all have different gifts and abilities. So don't cheapen your journey by trying to have somebody else's. Awesome job. All right, guys, we are ready for round two. 45-15 intervals, we are starting out with a side-to-side -side squat times three with a knee crunch. Here we go. Really get down, weight in the heels there. You can keep it pretty low impact. Be a little more deliberate about the squats and the knee pull-ins like I'm doing here, or you can add a hop to the movement also to make that knee pull a part of the side to side hop. I'm starting to do that here a bit. Awesome. You do what works for you. We're going to have some knee strike burpees next and then we'll go into some belt kicks, some sumo burpees, scissor abs, and then a lunge, a squat, and a lunge. I'm getting my mat back for this one. Here we go. Push up, knee strike, times two. Push up, hop it in, knee strike on the other leg. 
sure to keep that core tight as you go down for that push up. Spring back up and drive the knee forward. Really engage your core here. A lot of these kickboxing moves are very sneaky and very effective ab moves. Almost there. Great job. We're going into belt kicks next. All right, I want you to, when you're doing these belt kicks, squat and kick about belt level, hence the name. So get really deep, sit back in those heels, lift the leg using your abs, send that heel out. It's a great one to get your breath back. Really engage the core as you sink it down. Protect your face. Pretend like this is the real thing and you're really up against an opponent who's coming for you. Kick nice and strong and protect that face. Awesome job. We're gonna lean back slightly here and engage your core. You should feel that as you lean back. Awesome work. We are going into sumo burpees next, which is a burpee or a half burpee with four su two sumo pulses and four palm strikes. Try to make those strikes nice and quick. Make sure when you pulse, you don't bounce. That you lift up and down. You are sending that palm out, not the fist. The legs are burning here. Hold on, you're almost done. And then we will go into scissor abs. If you're doing this correctly, your leg will be on fire. Nice wide stance, toes tracking with the knees and pointing outwards. Awesome job. We're going into some scissor abs next, so get down, back flat on the mat. You can put those hands under your hips there, and we are crisscrossing the legs. Now, if you are more advanced, you can use your arms here and scissor them too. If that's too much to think about, slide those hands under the hips. Keep the legs nice and low. If you're more of a beginner, you can take one leg in at a time. Bicycle the feet there. You can lift those shoulders up off the mat to engage the upper part of your abdominals. Whatever you do, do it with nice good form and be proud of where you are. Awesome work. After this move, we will be up for a lunge and a squat and a lunge. Just alternating sides there. Our goal here is to stay low, really burn out those legs. Nice little strength move for this body weight challenge. So we're reaching back, squatting in the center. You'll notice I'm trying to reach for the ground to make sure that I've got a nice deep range of motion. You can also take these into a curtsy lunge, alternating with a squat. Depending on what you are wanting to hit, those curtsy lunges will help you really nail those glutes with this move. My legs are really starting to burn here. Hope yours are too. Keep smiling. Be thankful for your amazing body. The fact that it can go through all this punishment and still get stronger. Awesome job, guys. All right, we are back to the top of this round. We're gonna go into those side to side squats times three with a knee crunch. Here we go, side to side times three, pull in that knee, engage the core. This time I'm hopping, adding that knee crunch as soon as I land. 
three side to side squats, one knee pull. Add a little flip up there, don't worry about it if you do too. Three and pull. Pull it in, one, two, three, pull it in. Awesome job. Almost there. Awesome. Your next move is going to be a knee strike burpee. Bringing my mat back for that one for a little extra support. Remember we are really engaging our core here for that push up. Make sure your hands are not up too far when you do that push up. This time I'm doing an air strike modification, a more advanced modification here. So if you still want to do the knee strikes like you did the first round, go right ahead. Again, make sure that when you do those push-ups, your hands are midway down your chest so that you're not shrugging those shoulders and only using your anterior deltoids. Having all sorts of problem with the mic here. I'm wondering if that's where some of the problem started with the sound. But as you know, you will never have a perfect workout. You can always have a good one. So we are making the best out of this sound situation. And we are moving on. You are starting your belt kicks here while I'm struggling with my mic. Really engage that core again, send that heel out. Your next move is going to be the sumo burpee, where you take the two sumo pulses and then finish it off with four palm strikes. Awesome job. All right, get ready for this. Next move, take a nice deep breath in, half burpee, two pulses, four palm strikes. Half burpee, two pulses, four palm strikes. Awesome job, really push from that back for those palm strikes. Two nice pulses, get low, contract those abs. And you're really making contact with something. Awesome job, almost done. We're going to go into scissor abs next. You'll be able to get your breath back there. Take a little break on the legs. Make sure when you do those sumo pulses that you keep your chest up nice and tall. Right, we are going back down to the mat for those scissor abs. Hands under the glutes if you need to, crisscross those feet. Lift up your shoulders for more upper ab engagement. Or keep them flat on the mat. You can also feel this move a lot in your inner thighs. If you carry more of your weight in your lower half, this will be exceedingly difficult for you. So don't worry if you have to modify this move and pull in one leg at a time. Awesome work. Now our last move in this set is a lunge squat and a lunge. we go. Doing it to the side this time. We're really focusing on staying low. Try to touch that toe as you alternate sides. Awesome job. 
you'll be feeling those sumo pulses about now that you just did, but stay strong. Make sure to keep your chest up nice and high. Reach for those toes. Think about how much fun you're having or think about all the other worst things you could be doing. And keep on keeping on here. Awesome job. We are finished with that set and we're gonna move on to another. All right, guys, we are starting that third set with two uppers, an elbow strike, and a kick on the right. So we're going to go into two hooks, two knee pulls, and a slip back towards the right. We've got two rounds here. Our intervals are 45-15. And let's get started. Really pivot. Get a lot of power when you do that uppercut. And here we go. Upper, upper, opposite elbow, kick. Right, right, left, right. Right, right, left, right. This one I don't usually do a lot of boxer shuffling with. It's a combo that you can just do back to back. But if you need a boxer shuffle in between to get reset, absolutely take it. Really drive that elbow back when you do that elbow strike. Pivot those hips when you're doing your uppercut. Have fun. Get a nice strong kick there. Awesome. Almost there. Engage that core. Awesome. Great job. All right, we're going into those two hooks, two knees, and a slip on the right. Grab a quick drink. And let's get it started. All right. Hook, hook, knee, knee, slip it back towards the right. Get nice and low on that slip. Try to keep your chest up. Engage your core when you're pulling that knee in. Really use your leg for strong punches. Give it around if you need to. Get confused if you need to, as you can see I am. <laughs> Just have fun. Laughing's good for you, too. Right, reset with that boxer shuffle so that you can help yourself do the best form and not get confused. Awesome job, guys. Now we're doing that same first combination on the right, the two uppers, opposite elbow, and kick. Uppercuts are going to be on the left this time. Your opposite elbow is going to be your right, and the kick is on your left. You will have one side that just does not do what you want it to as much. And there's nothing wrong with that. Every time you work on it, you're getting better. Nice strong kick. Pivot that foot. Try to keep light on your feet. Engage the core for every part of this move to get some good ab work in and also to protect your spine. Awesome job. All right, now we are doing those two hooks, two knees, and a slip on the left. All right, ready to set it up. Have fun with these combos, guys. They don't have to be perfect. Good job, kick it back into the left. Really pretend like you're making contact with something there. Strong punches, don't just throw those arms out there. Drive the knee in and take it back. Have fun, keep it low. That front standing leg should be burning. you're done with this, we're going back to the right and doing it all again. Great work. Breathe it out. 
get a drink if you need to. And then we're doing it again on the right. Upper, upper, opposite elbow, and kick. As you can see, I'm still confused here, but we press on. Good job. Really pivot. Use all that upper body strength we have gained from lifting all the weights and doing all the push-ups to give you some strong punches. Apply the strength you have to whatever you're doing. We're going to get that hook times two, knee times two, and a slip on the right next. Working on coordination and quickness here. You can never have enough of that. Awesome job. You can keep it moving and prance around in the break. Or you can breathe and hang on for dear life. Here we go with those two hooks, the two knees, and the slip on the right. Again, good form here, contracting the abs. And just throw those arms out there. Use your legs for a really powerful punch. Take it back, shuffle, hook, hook, knee, knee, slip it back, two hooks, two knees, slip it back. We'll go into both of these combos on the left next. Try to do enough rounds of all of these moves to help us really increase our speed, kind of perfect some of the form. Although we're never looking for perfect, we're looking for good. Perfect is pretty paralyzing. But if we're shooting for awesome, we can always get there. All right, here we go. Two uppercuts, elbow strike, kick. Nice tight core. Nice smile on your face because why not? My clients tell me that my training motto should be pain with a giggle because I'm always giggling as I'm asking them to do all the difficult things. So. Giggle when you're challenging yourself. Try to make it more fun. All right, awesome work here. Really tighten that core. Strong kicks. We're starting to get tired by this point. I'm definitely fatigued here. Watching the clock, so good job. We are going into the hook, the knee strike, and the slip for the last time here on the left. And then we will head into yet another set. Awesome job. Slip it back. Chest up. Kick it back. I'm starting to pivot here. Pretending I have a real opponent here. <laughs> awesome. Try to maintain some lightness on your feet and a little lightness in your heart if you mess up like I just did. Have fun here. Drop on your weighted vest. If you need some more intensity. Awesome job. Get really deep and go faster. It's another way to really amp up your intensity if you're not feeling it as much. Awesome job. All right, guys, you are headed into your fourth set. This is two rounds, 45-15. We are starting with a squat, low, medium, and high kick on your left. Then we're going to go into eight punches, two squat jumps, and two back kicks. Then we will do that same move on the right, the squat, low, medium, and high kick. And our last move is going to be a cardio crusher with four high knees, a tricep push-up jack, and two switch kicks. Now you can either make these switch kicks or just front kick. Like I said, we've got two rounds of this. It's going to be super fun. It's going to go by super quickly. And then we will move on to a burpee push-up pyramid. So off we go. Squat, pivot, low, medium, high kick. 
we pivot that foot to put us in a good position to kick. Here I am kicking through with my laces. This is my stronger side. This is the other side. Leaves a little bit to be desired, but we all have that side that's difficult, so it just helps us to know what we need to work on. Awesome, try to protect that face. Low, medium, high kick, squat it down nice and low, and then pivot that foot. Awesome job. We're moving straight on to those eight punches, two squat jumps and two back kicks. I'm moving my mat back. I have a little extra support with the squat jumps. I might be sorry about that because it's slippery. Eight punches, two jumps, and back kick, back kick. Down again for that squat, those punches, two squat jumps, back kick, back kick. Squat it down, nice strong punches, nice big jumps. Look back when you kick. Nice and low, two squat jumps, and kick. Really shove through those heels. Work those glutes as you kick behind you. Take it down, punches again. Don't forget to tighten that core. Awesome job, guys. Now we're going to that squat, medium, low, and high kick on the right. This is definitely my weaker side. Squat it, pivot, low, medium, high. Squat it, pivot, low, medium, high. It'll get better as you get along. You could always sub for a chambered knee here if you don't want to kick or you don't have the flexibility to kick. Remember, you need to do low, medium, and high for you. Don't try to push yourself to do something just because you see me doing it or somebody else. Awesome job. Tighten your core here to maintain your balance. Pivoting that foot also helps. Whew, good job. All right, we are going into that last move, the high knees with the tricep push-up jack and switch kicks. Grabbing my mat there for that. Here we go. Drive those knees up. So four. Tricep push-up jack, two, switch kicks. You don't have to hover your foot there. You can tap the toe down on those switch kicks, or you can really challenge yourself and your core strength and your balance by hovering the foot. Very good. Nice big kick, nice big jump. Engage your core as you do those high knees. Keep it engaged as you do that tricep push-up jack. That one's a breath taker. It's good to have that next interval where we can sort of get our breath back a little bit. You are starting out with those squat, low, medium, and high kick on the left again. This is your last round of these exercises. Awesome. Protect that face. Pivot, low, medium, high, kick with those laces, low, medium, high, squat, low, medium, high, push into those heels, keep your chest up with that squat, have fun, sometimes my kicks get a little out of order and I start too high and then I can't go above my medium or my low, but that's okay. We are moving, we're having fun. Awesome job. All right, you're going into the eight punches, two squat jumps, and two back kicks. This one was a really fun video to make because we haven't done a lot of kickboxing on the channel in a while, so this is nice and refreshing. Eight punches, 
tight core, chest up, two squat jumps, back kick, back kick. As you can see, I lost the mat this time because it was very slippery. Good job. Engage those glutes. Look back toward that foot as you're kicking. Focus as you punch. Nice strong legs. As you jump, nice strong glutes as you send that foot back behind you. Almost there. Good job. Sink it low. Legs are burning by now. Awesome job. Take a quick drink. Towel off. We are going into that squat, low, medium, and high kick on the right. All right, here we go. Squat, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. Squat, pivot that foot. It's gonna help your balance out a lot. Get through those laces, try to maintain the balance even if it's not your best side. Chamber that knee if you need to. Legs are burning here, glutes are burning. We're really activating and utilizing the gluteus medius here. Awesome work. All right, we are going into that last move in this circuit. It is four high knees, a tricep push-up jack, and a set of switch kicks. Awesome work, tight core the whole time. So much of kickboxing really engages that core, so make sure you tighten your core, especially with all the twisting that we do in our upper body. You really need to protect your spine. Awesome job. When this one's done, we will be finished with this circuit. You guys are doing awesome. Hope you're having fun. Oh yeah, big jump, almost there. Drive those knees up, good job guys. You have finished this punishing, punishing circuit. All right guys, we are headed into another round. We are gonna do a kick and jump set this time. Your intervals are 50-10. We are starting with two half burpees, with a low, medium, and high kick to the front. Let's get it started here. Those two half burpees. All right, another sneaky ad move. Another fun bit of body weight cardio. I think I just did three there, but you can do two. <laughs> One, two. Low, medium, high kick, protect that face. One two. So this is a double half burpee. Does that make it a whole burpee? I don't know. You decide. Awesome. Really engage your core when you are kicking. Awesome work. Have fun with this. Try to make them as fast but as clean as you can. Next move we are doing is a side kick with a squat jump and another side kick. We are alternating sides with each jump. All right, shake it out. Squat it low and kick. And stepping and pivoting to that kick. Trying to really contract my abs and stay nice and focused on keeping my chest up as I do that squat jump. Jump and side kick. Feel this one in your glutes. 
your legs are really fatigued by now. This is definitely an endurance challenge, so if you need to take it to low impact, by all means do so. Awesome job. Now, because I have limited space, I'm probably going to have to do this move back and forth, but we are doing a shuffle, a jab and a cross, and a kick. So when you go to the right, you are actually kicking with your left and punching with your left. When you go to the left here, you are punching and kicking with your right. Really drive with those legs, twist and punch, pivot that foot. If you are short on space, you could always just do one shuffle, kick and punch, or one low sidestep, kick and punch, whatever works for you. Here I'm trying to smile and encourage you, I think. <laughs> Good job. All right. We are going into some in and out squats here with opposite toe touches. Try to really twist and reach for those toes so that you can engage that core with this move too. It's not just a cardio leg move, it is a nice ab sculptor too. Awesome job. You can lean and face that foot when you do these. After this move, we're going to move back on to our two half burpees, low, medium, and high kick, but this time we're doing it with the right leg. And we'll finish out this set with some switch kicks. Good old switch kicks. All right, great job. Catch your breath. I'm going to move my mat back, and we will start with those two half burpees with the three kicks. One, two, low, medium, high kick. Hop it back. One, two, step, low, medium, high kick. Step. Two froggers, two half burpees, low, medium, high kick. Engage that core. Step, low, medium, high kick. One, two, step, one, two, Three kicks. Almost there. Don't get sloppy with your form. Keep that core tight. Kicking through with my laces here. Kicking through the toe. Low, medium, high kick. And you are all done. Awesome job. All right, switch kicks are next. You can either take these into alternating front kicks if you need a lower impact move or you can do the switch kick tap if you're having balance trouble. You could also hover here if you're advanced. Do what works for you and what is high intensity for you. Because whatever you are and whatever ability level you are is good enough and it is a place to start. So if we think of health and fitness as a lifelong journey, then you don't have to be in a rush to get to the end. If we're smart about our training, we'll always be working on getting better, so it doesn't matter where you are now because you have a lot of time to improve. Awesome job. Really tighten that core to maintain your balance. Good job. <laughs> I was definitely winded by that one. So you are going to go back to the beginning with those two half burpees, low, medium, high kick on the left. And off we go. It's a good one to get that breath back after the switch kick. Have fun with these combos. Keep moving. If you get to be really, really winded, then just go back to that boxer shuffle till you get your breath back and then join back in. It's always good to train in a lot of different ways. 
see where the opportunities for improvement are in your fitness. I was just telling somebody today, even injuries are a really good opportunity to um, spend time on some different aspects of your fitness that you wouldn't have normally taken time to really focus on. So everything can be a good opportunity. For some reason, I am back to those <laughs> squat jump and side kick. No, it's time for those. Never mind. So we are squat jumping and kicking to the side. Nice deep and low squat. Nice side kick. Long. Nice tight core for balance. And to protect that spine from all the twisting we're doing. You can always add a punch here as you kick. Try to remember to protect your face. I think I must have forgotten. <laughs> Awesome job. All right, now we're doing those shuffle with a jab, cross, and a kick. Remember, again, when you are going to the right, you are punching with the left, kicking with the left. Going to the left, you're going to punch with the right and kick with the right. Because of my limited space, I'm not getting quite the speed that I would like to have on this move, but we got to do what we got to do based on the space we have, so... Try to get lower if you have that situation. Amp up your intensity. Go faster. <laughs> Knock off your headband like I did. <laughs> I've had some clients get pretty zealous and hit themselves in the face. So be really careful with all these punches, especially the uppercut. But have fun. Good job, guys. All right. We are back to those in and out squat jumps with an opposite toe touch. We are twisting and activating that core. Kind of like a windmill move here. Really twist. The more you twist, the more you're going to feel this in your abs. This is a great leg burning move, too. So we will not discount it as a cardio move, but it's a super good one to get in some ab work, especially oblique work. After we're done here, we're going to go into those two half burpees, low, medium, and high kicks on the right. We'll finish it all off with switch kicks for this round. Awesome job. Right, two half burpees, kicking with the right, engaging the core, leading with those laces, keeping that chest up, tracking those abs for balance, and for power. Great work. One and two, low, medium, high kick. It's getting near the end here, guys. Stay strong. Low, medium, high kick. Low, medium, and good job, guys. You are all set. The last move you have here is switch kicks or just front kicks. If you need to get your breath back, you can always just start with a front kick. Alternate. Still engage that core. Really pull those arms down as you kick your leg. When you feel ready, you can go back into those switch kicks or not. Whatever you feel like today. Awesome job. Finish it out there. 
kick, track those abs, ride that heel out as you kick. Awesome, almost there. Great job, guys. All right, guys, we are heading into a legs and plyo set next. It's going to be 40 10 intervals. We're going to do it two times. We're going to start out with three scissor feet and a turn. So we're going to try to do this as quickly as we can. Really try to use those abs and engage them as you twist. Arms are going to be going the opposite way of legs during that twist part to really engage that core. Feel that twist, contract those abs. Quick, quick feet. Exhale on that turn and that contraction to really get a nice contraction in those abs. We're going to go into pike fast feet with a heel click and a tuck next. Calves are burning. Keep it up. You guys are doing awesome. Whew. Awesome. Good job. Breathe it out. I'm getting my mat back for this one. Hopefully I will not jump into that beam right above me. All right. Pike fast feet for a count of four. Heel click and tuck. Donkey kick, I'm sorry. Or a plank heel click. And tuck it up. Fast feet. One, two, three, four. Click those heels. Tuck. Awesome. Don't worry if you have a lot of shaking going on in your lower half when you do those pike heel clicks. Muscle shakes too. Just keep going. Be awesome. Awesome job. Okay. Now we're going into four squat pulses and a jump. Sometimes these are called pulse jumps. You can stick with three or four pulses here. No big deal. I think I switch to three at some point. Awesome job. Try to get some good air underneath you. Keep that chest up. Those legs are burning. Here I'm trying to utilize my arms when I do a vertical jump so that they are helping me lift off. I'm getting that same position, taking those, those arms back and using them to help send me up into the air. I'm also trying to hit that beam, so it's always good to have some sort of a kind of goal spot on your wall or wherever to um, aim for when you jump. Now we're going into 10 mountain climbers and 10 high knees. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hop it up, 10 high knees. Drive it up. Good job. Down into those 10 high knees. And hop it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good job. Engage that core. And 10. Up for 10. Awesome job. Down for 10. And up for 10. Awesome job. That is a breath taker. Now we're going into heel clicks with a donkey kick. Now, if this doesn't work for you, you could always just do a squat with two ankle taps. Just do the heel clicks on the top. My mat is going to slide during this whole interval. <laughs> so... Make sure you use good form and move your mat if you are feeling any slippery terrain going on there. Awesome. I think I did two heel clicks at the top there. No big deal, just a bonus. All right. Draw those heels toward those glutes. Get a little hamstring action going on there. Feel this in your inner thighs as you do those heel clicks. Awesome job. We are back at the top of these 40-10 intervals. We're going to do three scissors and a turn. Grab a quick drink if you need it. Breathe it out. Get ready to have some fast feet. 
fast twist. Turning opposite of those arms and legs. Opposite of the arms, that is. <laughs> awesome job. Quick, quick feet. Get a good twist in those obliques. Calves are burning. Awesome job. Keep it up. Almost there. Whew, goodness. Pike fast feet, heel click, and tuck is next. Get in a nice pike position. Make those feet go as fast as you can. I know your calves are probably burning after that last interval. Count of four. And then heel click it and tuck it. Pike fast feet. Heel click. Tuck it up. Awkward, difficult move. Makes you think a little bit. But a great combo. Awesome job. Keep going. We're moving into those four squat pulses and a jump next. Grabbing the towel because I am sweating bucket loads on this one. And here we go. Pulse and jump. Here I think I'm using a three pulse. You can use four, three, two, whatever challenges you. Losing my mic again. If I'd have known what I know now, I wouldn't have even had that thing on. <laughs> Push through, I know it's burning. My legs were screaming here. Awesome job. Sink it low. Whew. All done. Now we're going into those 10 mountain climbers and 10 high knees. And then we'll finish off this set with our heel clicks with donkey kick. Here we go. 10 high knees are next. Then mountain climbers, really tighten your core, keep those hips down. Squeeze your core and your glutes. That will help you get in the correct plank position every time. Whether you're doing push-ups or mountain climbers, you do those two things and have your arms in the right position, you are ready to go. After those mountain climbers, keep that core nice and tight and you are done. All right. Take a quick breather. We are heading into your last heel clicks with donkey kick. Draw those heels right up to those glutes. Nice heel click, get some good height there. Feel your inner thighs working as you draw those legs together. Hang in there. You know you're getting tired. This is a super, super long workout. A lot of intense cardio moves, but you guys can do it. Awesome job. Great job. All right, that is your last exercise in this circuit. Great job making it through that. All right, guys, we are ready for that ab section. These are gonna be 30 seconds on, five seconds rest each interval. We are going to do this set three times. We're gonna start off with two oblique hops and four plank jacks. So we're hopping those feet to the hands and then we are jacking it out four times. Remember to keep those hips down, especially during those plank jacks. Core nice and tight. This will also be a shoulder burner. You can always take those oblique hops to four reps there before you do the four plank jacks if that's a better rhythm for you. Awesome job. We're going straight into an elbow strike with a crab toe touch. We're alternating sides. I really want you to get a nice deliberate twist here when you're doing that elbow strike. 
and really lift those hips for the toe touch. We're going to move straight on into an inchworm, a commando plank, and a tuck at the top. You can also add a plank tuck if you want to. Inch yourself out, down into a commando plank, back up. I'm adding a plank hop here and a plank tuck at the top. I'm walking it back up this first interval, doing the opposite arm for that commando plank, tucking those knees in for the plank tuck and a tuck at the top. Walking it back again. You'll see in the next round I add a little something extra to help that transition go a little more smoothly. Great job. Now we're going into some running rope pulls. There are a couple modifications you can do for this move. Our arms and our legs should be opposing each other. Opposite arm, opposite leg, pulls and comes in. Okay, so if you're more beginner, you can dig those heels into the mat and alternate your legs. You can also just do the arm portion of this exercise. So that would be a good intermediate modification. If you're advanced, do the whole thing. <laughs> All right, you finished your first round of that. We're going back into those oblique plank hops times two, plank jack times four. Awesome job. Keep it up. Jump up to those hands, three and four, one, two plank hops, four plank jacks, two, three and four. Hop it up, hop it up, one, two, three and four. You could also do these low impact and just step out with some toe taps instead of doing the plank jacks. We're going straight into those elbow strikes with toe touches, okay? Nice twist, exhale on that twist. Get a nice, nice contraction of those abs. Awesome job, reach for those toes. It will be a balanced challenge, so just make sure you maintain a nice tight core. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of the wobblies there. <laughs> no big deal, we're still getting a great sweat and a great workout on. All right, we're going back for that third round of these exercises. Nope, just kidding. We are going to inchworm commando and tuck at the top. Awesome job. Take it down, opposite commando. Tuck it and tuck it at the top. I decided here to do some tuck jumps all the way back to make it a little more difficult and also to get a better transition there of having to walk it back. We're going into running rope pulls again. I'm like you are climbing up a rope. Lifting straight up, not shrugging those shoulders, just lifting that chest up with your abdominal strength. Awesome job guys, I'm watching the clock. <laughs> it's burning for me so I understand. Keep going. Do your best. Awesome job. All right, now we are ready for that third round. Oblique hops times two and plank jack. Very good. Hop it up. Four plank jacks. Hop it up. Four plank jacks. Hop one, hop two, four plank jacks. Awesome job. All right, elbow strikes and toe touches. Very good, really twist it. An advanced modification here would be to come up on those toes like I'm doing here when you do that crab toe touch. Looks a lot more balance, a lot more control. Give that a try if you're feeling brave. Awesome work. 
we got through that one for the last time. All right, we're back to that walkout inchworm, commando plank, and tuck. Very good. I'm tucking it all the way back, walking it out, commando plank, knee tuck, tucks at the top, all the way back. Good job. All right, last time for that one. And then we will go into those running rope pulls for the last time here. Great job. Again, you can dig those heels in. You can just do the arms. Or you can do the legs and the arms. Awesome work. All right, you are all done with this abdominal crusher set, and we will move right on. Great job. All right, guys, we are going into your last challenge of this brutal workout. This is going to be a burpee push-up pyramid. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm showing you a piece of a toy car that I found in my shoe. So a uh, little caution for all of us to really pay attention to your shoe before you put it on and start to jump in it if you have little children. So anyway, starting with a high number of regular push-ups. We're going to do all sorts of push-up variations. We're going to decrease by two with each of those push-up sets. We're going to start with a low number of burpees and we are going to work our way up to a higher number with each burpee set. So if that is clear as mud, just follow me and we will get through it together. So we're starting with 10 regular push-ups, or you could do a diamond push-up or an X-Press push-up. I think I'm just sticking with regular here. 10 reps, squeeze those glutes, squeeze your abs, make sure that you are not shrugging those shoulders and that your arms are at the right spot between your shoulder and your chest so that you're really activating your chest, your deltoids and your triceps, instead of just relying solely on those anterior delts, which are our small, smallest muscle there, and can't really do all of that on its own or on their own. We're going into two double burpees, which means you're gonna have two half burpees at the bottom and two jumps at the top. I think I add a clap here, so two and two hops. Two froggers, two hops. All right, we're just doing two of those. Now we are going into eight wide push-ups. So those fingers are going to be pointing out to the side. Our arms are out wide. We are doing eight of them. Awesome job. All right, we're going into four burpees with a tuck at the top and the bottom next. Off we go, down, tuck, up, tuck at the top, that's one. Adding a push up here, <laughs> tuck at the bottom, tuck at the top, that's two. Push up, tuck at the bottom, tuck at the top, you can totally take the push up out, you're doing a lot of push ups, that was three. Tuck at the bottom, and tuck at the top. Awesome job. We are going into six underhand push-ups. That means our fingers are going to be facing backwards. If that does not work for you, do the push-up of your choice. Diamond push-up, any kind of push-up there. It's a very awkward move. One, two, we're doing six of these. Three, four, five, last one, six. Awesome job. Those are tough. Next, we're doing six oblique hop burpees. So each jump to each side will count. Um, two equals one for this move. So here we go. We have six of them. Jump it up. Any jump you want, I am clapping at the top. Two. Three. Figuring out how many we have there. Four. Five. 
last one. Six. Great job. We're going into four dive bomber push ups here. Now, if you are not quite at the point where you can reverse out of that push up, you can always just send the hips back to the top. That's perfectly fine. All right. Nice pike position here. And send that head through and send it back. That's one. Here's two. Good job. Mine are still a little ugly, but I'm working on them. There's that modification where you send the rear end back. Three and four. Awesome job. All right, next we are doing eight burpees with a heel grab. Great job, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome job, guys. Your next move is going to be two one leg push ups per arm. So we're going to send one leg up, do two push ups, switch legs, two more push ups. You get good plank position, two push ups, switch legs, two more push ups. Awesome job. You are almost done with this crazy, brutal pyramid and also almost done with your entire workout. So we are going to crush 10 star burpees or a burpee with a jack at the top if you are feeling super winded. And then we will be all done. All right. I'm showing you there the power jack that you can use as a modification if you need to. No worries at all. All right. Off we go. I'm definitely needing a breather before this one. Take it down, jack push up, star jump. Take it down, tricep jack push up, star jump. That's two. Take it down, jack push up, that's three. Take it down, jack push up, four. Take it down, five. Halfway there. You guys are doing awesome. Six, seven, eight, two more guys, you got it, nine, and last one, ten. Awesome work. You are finished with this workout. You have totally earned the cool down that is coming for you. So. Get your breath, towel off a bit, and we will head right to it. All right, guys, we are ready for that cool down. Let's go ahead and get it started. We're going to start out on your mat with just some bent rockers, so legs out wide. We're going to hook those arms around the elbows. Really feel the weight of your upper body pulling you towards the floor, loosening up that spine, stretching it. So important to take care of your spine all the time, but especially when we kick box and we're doing all that twisting and punching and are really making our back have to work for us so much. All right, here we go. We are going to slowly come back up. We're going to pivot that left leg out and we're going to go into a half lunge there, lowering our knee down to the mat. I want you to keep your chest up here and push into that right hip flexor. Really breathe in here. Now we're going to take our prayer pose arms. We're going to take that right arm to the left knee. Really twisting there, getting a nice stretch in your thoracic spine. Awesome. Come back to the top, to the front. Now we're placing both hands to the right of that foot. We're opening up that left foot and as a result, opening up that hip. So many times tight hips cause us some knee problems. So make sure you take care of those hips. You will take care of everything else. Now we're sending back our hips for a hamstring stretch on the left, reaching for those toes, sitting back into that heel, 
and releasing. Now we are going to work on a quad stretch from here. Now if you have trouble with this, you could always stand up and do the quad stretch standing. Not a problem at all. Awesome work. Now we're going to step that right leg up to the left and send the left leg back. Send the knee down there. Really push into that left hip flexor now. Really, really important muscle there. Very strong muscle, but it gets nice and tight and short really easily when we sit all day. Prayer pose here with a twist. Really opening up that thoracic spine. You can look up with this one. Awesome job taking it back to the front, taking both hands to the left of that foot, opening up that hip and showing yourself the bottom of your right foot. Hope you guys are feeling so good and so accomplished. This was a tough workout. It's a long one, but I hope it was a fun one. All right, we're coming back up. We are sending those hips back for a nice relaxing hamstring stretch there. Got to have nice supple hamstrings to be able to do those kicks and punches. All right, we're coming back up for a quad stretch. You may have one leg. It's really difficult to balance here. I find that when I do this move, oops, I'm even getting a little off balance there. <laughs> I find when I do this move, if I squeeze my inner thighs towards each other, I can find a lot more balance. It's a lot more grounding for that pose. So give that a try if you're having trouble with the wobbles. Awesome work. All right, we are back to a tabletop position. We are going to do a baby cobra. Walk those forearms out in front of you. Lift your chest, shoulders away from your ears, and we are stretching those abs that have worked so hard for us today. Lift the head, try not to shrug those shoulders. Good job. Walk those hands forward more if you need more of a stretch there. Now we're going into just a regular cobra pose. We're lifting our head. We are keeping our shoulders down and getting a nice stretch in that lower back. Try to relax your glutes in this position. Work through some neck tightness there if you need to. Carefully and slowly. Find where your tight spots are. And just be kind to your body as you stretch it out. Lower the chest down. We're going to sit those hips back into a child's pose. Going to widen my knees a little more there. Feel that stretch all through your body, but especially through those shoulders and the chest, lats there. All right, now we are going to dig those toes in, send the hips back, bicycle out the feet as we work into a downward facing dog. And as we inch even further to the end of this work out and cool down. All right, walking those hands back to the feet now. Get a good last hamstring stretch right here. Awesome work. Heel toe, heel toe those feet back in there. Reach for the toes or whatever you can reach for. And we are just hanging out here for another second. All right, slowly come back up. Circle and loosen up those shoulders. Clasp the hands behind you. Really sque squeeze your shoulder blades together. Take that chin down towards your chest. Loosen up that neck even further. Awesome job. Now we're going to take our right ear to our right shoulder. Hands still clasped behind us. And when you feel ready, take that neck backwards and forwards very slowly, trying to find out where your tight spots are. All right. Don't want any neck strain. Got to take care of that neck. Going to the other side now. Left ear to left shoulder. Try not to hike up that shoulder, but just lower the ear. Awesome work taking it back center, making a few big neck circles before we're done here, and switching directions. All right, great work. You are finished with this workout. You should feel so proud of yourself. I'm super proud of you. 
All right, guys, great job crushing this brutal kickboxing challenge. I hope you had a ball doing it. I had a blast. I hope you were feeling nice and tired and nice and sweaty. So, Pinky, I hope this was what you were looking for. If not, I'd be happy to take this challenge on again. <laughs> but give me a little while, because this was tough. <laughs> anyway, now I need you to drink a lot of water today. I need you to get a healthy post-workout meal on your plate 30 to 90 minutes after this workout. If you have any questions about what that might be or how to put it together, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com or comment down below. And while you're commenting, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet for more brutal workouts and tips for healthy living. Also catch us on Instagram, on Facebook, and especially on Patreon where you're going to get some extra workouts and just extra fun stuff every month as well. So, whether you felt like you were just kicking and punching like a fiend through this workout, or whether you felt a little kicked and punched in the gut after this workout, it is your health today and every day. So, you know what you got to do. You better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome day, guys. And no matter how you were feeling, you made it through. I'm proud of you. I'll see you next time.